even in this you know, local congregation, the normal congregation, um, that there are areas that we need to tighten up on. And this is the number one area I know of. Why? Because I hear people talk. And so we have to bring these things up. And so you can, if you bridle your mouth, you can turn your whole body. What does that mean? That means that if you start speaking correctly, okay, I'm going to make a, a very strong declaration here or a statement. If you change your mouth, you will not be in my healing line. There you go. You say, wait, you're, you're telling me that I can get rid of all sickness and disease, any problems in my body? Yep, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why? Because you put the bridle of God's word in your mouth and it will turn your entire body. I don't care what's going on. You Listen, I'm not preaching something that I heard on Christian television. I didn't go to sermons.com and pull up this outline, all right? This is something I know. And if honestly, I don't know many things more than I know what I'm talking about right now. I have seen it in my life over the last 45 years. I have seen the results of it. And, I, and, and you know, I would love to say that I changed instantly and it worked perfectly from then on. I did change instantly, but I will tell you this. I went through ups and downs. Why? Because there was a point where I had to train myself. And then when you're around uh, people that haven't trained themselves, it's real easy to fall back into the old way of saying things. But what I noticed was if I kind of, well, there, let's call it what it is. If I backslid in my speech, I could see my life take a downturn. I could see my physical body take a downturn. But whenever I got it back up to what I'm supposed to be doing normally, my body would come back up and it, I walked it out. My surroundings, you know, it, it, people are often amazed at how good God treats me. And do you know why he gets to treat me good? Is because I have cut out the garbage that he would have to fight through to get to me that used to come out of my mouth. And so now I work with him. I agree with him. How do I agree with him? I, I agree 100%. By his stripes, I am healed, right? And I was healed. I am healed. I shall always be healed. I'm being healed. Even on things I don't know that attacks me, I'm still being healed. Why? Because I believe by his stripes I was healed. And it keeps working in me. And now, usually now, you know, well, we're going to see it here in just a minute. My not my first pastor, but the, well, actually kind of the last pastor I had, actually. Um, you know, we had situations going on in the church. I'd go to him. I was young and had never pastored, had never tried to lead a congregation. And I had ideas of, you know, this is wrong, that's wrong, this should be fixed. And I'd go to him and tell him, man, this person over here, they are messed up and they're causing problems. We need to do something. Or this situation is causing problems. You need to do something. Especially when I went into the youth department and, you know, the youth pastors had the lights down low, the music up, and girls were sitting in guys' laps. Had a problem with that, right? And so I went straight, well, first off, I turned on the lights and uh, turned down the music and told everybody to get out of each other's laps uh, because the uh, church was becoming a meat market. And so then I went to the pastor and told him, I said, you better do something about this. This is, this is a lawsuit. And I said, because usually pastors respond quicker to ideas of lawsuits. <laughs> So if you throw that in there, a lot of times you get their attention. And I said, this is a lawsuit looking to happen right here. And so I started talking. I said, you, this is going on. That's going on. And I'll never forget it because he, great heart. I mean, this man was, he was so just steady and amazing heart, right? But I'll never forget, Brother Curry, you know, church is like a ship. And the bigger the ship, the longer it takes to turn it around. And I'm like, well, yeah, but somewhere you got to start turning you know, not just talk about it while it's going straight. So, <laughs> I wasn't always his favorite uh, congregant, all right? But, uh, and, and so I started realizing the truth. Yeah, it does take time, but it's the same thing with your body. When you start saying it, you may not see an overnight change, but you will see the gradual change. And the thing is, it's, it's, you, you, you look back and you go, wow, look where I am now. Look at how my life has changed over the last three months, six months, 
a year, and it gets longer, and you're like, wow, you know, I remember back then. Why? Because it ain't that way now. And the thing is, this is one of the reasons why God, I, I firmly believe, one of the reasons why God has used me so strongly in the area of healing. Why? Because I was so adamant about that, that I speak life. I don't speak death. I don't speak sickness. I don't agree with it. It gets me in trouble sometimes because people want to talk sickness and, you know, death and, you know, problems and this or that thing. And, and I'm like, I'm not going to say a word. When, when you, are you listening? I hear you. You know, well, don't you agree? No, I don't agree. Why? Because if I agree with you, you will get sicker. Because if any two agree touching anything, it will be done. So I'm not, I can't do that. I can't agree. Well, well the doctor said, well, I don't, I'm not going to agree with him either. Why? I'm going to agree with this word. Now, I can help you if I can get you to shut up because you're killing yourself with your tongue. That's what you're, you're digging your own grave with your tongue. Why? Because you, if you keep talking about sickness or disease or the problem, whatever it is, I'm telling you, I don't care what, I don't care where you are in life. I don't care where you are, uh, you know, it, well, let me say it too. I do care where you are. What, what I'm saying is that it makes no difference how far down you are. You can turn your life around with your tongue. Nobody else's help. You by yourself can turn your life around. And if you start putting God's word in your mouth, why? Because his words are spirit and they are life. And if you start speaking life, you will receive life. Why? Because you're sowing life. But if you're going to sow to the flesh, you will of the flesh reap destruction. But if you sow to the spirit, then you will what? What will you have? Life, peace. Isn't that right? 